Oh, this one's called Loser, so let's try that one. Hey everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today I'm really excited because we're going to try out another art supply. This time it's the world's colouriest watercolours by Stuart Semple. These I've had for a while and I'm really looking forward to trying. They're supposed to be really vivid watercolours and I thought it would be perfect to try these out with my new idea for my new comic where you, if you guys have been following me that it's in sort of a 1950s motel. That's like the main place it's set so I want to try and draw another motel like I did with my gouache and see how it turns out because these are so vivid and colourful and I really like that juxtaposition like of horror but also maybe it's quite cutesy. It's a bit of a weird thing but it's a style that I quite like doing so I want to try this out and yeah let's just get down to it. Okay we'll just start off by swatching these. This is the same company that I got the um, glow in the dark paint from so I'm truly looking forward to this because that glow in the dark paint really surprised me. Here's the palette and then inside is ooh. That's nice. This kind of rounded palette box. And oh, you get like a little thing of all the the names. So some of these names are quite cool. Zoltar. This is quite a cool setup. It has these sponges. Oh look, it gives you a little water brush so you can take this outside as well. Kind of slots in like that. So that's nice. So yeah, let's just try these out. I'm really intrigued by that bright pink. I think that kind of pink will be really good for this motel vibe that we're going for for this new comic. You guys are probably wondering, yeah Steph, you keep talking about that horror comic, um, how's it coming along? Well the truth is that it isn't really. I wrote 10 pages of the script out and then I sort of got a bit stuck on the story. I've been really busy with work and doing other types of videos and things that I took it kind of took a side, like a back burner thing and I'm not really, I'm not really pleased with that because I obviously, this is what I want to do, I want to make comics so I'm really making myself a little bit. So I'm trying to get into, into gear with it. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking these. I just want to get going and drawing really. I don't, I'm not a really big fan of doing swatches but I think they are handy when you're, you're trying to pick out colours for certain things but I, I'm more of a just go for it kind of person, I think you guys know that now. Okay, these, these, these paints are really interesting, I'm really excited to use them in a proper illustration because they are super colourful. So what I thought I would draw today is something that I kind of doodled out in my sketchbook and I want to add to it a little bit more but it's sort of a different view of a different motel. I'm at these beginning stages of the comic where it's fun and you're sort of looking for a style and you're experimenting and that's what I want to do. I don't want to do the same style that I did my last one in. I know that for sure because I always really like doing something a bit different. I'm the type of person who jumps from project to project so when I have the chance to do something completely different different I will go for it if that makes sense because I just it's fun to experiment and not be stuck or constrained constrained that's not a word constrained by past projects or I don't know I think as well I'm always developing my style I think I'm the type of person who doesn't really have a, a style I mean I've spoken about this before where and people have said yeah you have a style and I'm like I don't really think so I think I have a look and feel and then people maybe you look at my work and be like yeah that's something Steph's done but you wouldn't think you wouldn't put all everything I've done together and been and and have it in one gallery like oh that's a collection of works you know so I think that's maybe it I don't know <laughs> maybe that's the difference in what a style is to me I think if you can recognize my work and be like yeah Steph's done that or then that is a style I guess so I'm probably talking absolute nonsense I am I'm just really into the idea of doing a horror comic again I remember the last one was really quite special to me and and um no pun intended but scary because I felt like or oh, what if people read it and it's just they don't find it scary and it's just like oh this is rubbish <laughs> well I guess everybody has that fear right whenever they do anything and they have to show people it's drawing that fear back in and enjoying the process that is what makes a significant difference. So if I'm doing something and I'm constantly thinking oh I'm gonna put this on YouTube and people are gonna see it then I get really pressured and everything I do is rubbish but if I get into the process and I focus on the work and enjoy what I'm doing and feel inspired then then I'm like I love this like it's better and even if the piece isn't 
100% perfect. It's all about the process that I've done. So that's that's what I'm trying to say and I hope that helps anybody out there because I know that I've been in the past really stuck on things and but it, it's like you hit a brick wall and you just don't know what to do because you're constantly thinking about the after of the piece so like oh i'm gonna put this on instagram and people are gonna see it oh i'm gonna photograph it and all this rubbish that shouldn't be in your mind when you're trying to create you should just create to create and i know that's easier said than done because i have that struggle weekly when i come to film my videos i film them and then i think oh my god i have to get into the zone i have to chill out i have to listen put a podcast on or music or something and then everything kind of works and that's just my process now so I think if you try to block out block out the pain it helps but I know it's it's difficult for sure it's difficult so let's talk about the artwork a little bit obviously it's kind of difficult to paint a, a similar illustration to what I did with the gouache because the gouache is so opaque that it's easier to block out colors and then go over mistakes and go over and over but with watercolors it's obviously slightly different so the process is a bit different. I would always say watercolour is my number one art supply. I think I really enjoy using it and being loose with it. As you can probably see that is just kind of who I am as an artist and I don't work the way other people, other artists do. I just, I just dive in and go for it and hope for the best and enjoy the process. Okay let's talk about the watercolours. I think that they're really nice. They are really pigmented and they blend quite well together. I think it's the paper that's making it like it gives it a little bit of a texture but I really like that kind of rough when you can see that the the watercolour is watercolour, if that makes sense. You can see them blending together and the way that the water pushes certain pigments around. I really enjoy that in pieces and I think it really adds a mood to stuff. As I was doing this piece, I really abused these watercolours as well. I layered them and layered them. It's kind of adding too much to it sometimes. You want to keep it quite simple and plain, but I really like having a lot of textures and work and I think for a kind of horror image, this works. Oh yeah, I really like the textures and the layers and I think they really layered quite well considering that they are watercolours and not opaque. Um, I mean, you can make them more opaque obviously by adding more to the brush, but I think they just worked quite well and I'm really intrigued to use these a bit more. I really like the colours that you get from these watercolours. They are um, super colourful as they say and I think I will be using these a lot more. And yeah, I think the overall painting turned out quite nicely. Would I recommend these watercolours? I think I would. I really like them and I think they're a great kit. So I think this piece came out quite nicely in the end. There's quite a nice mood to it. I think it kind of suits the horror style composition and the perspective. It's a tiny bit off, as sometimes I tend to do, but I think overall it works and I would love to do a comic with this style and just have lots of panels of this quirky, interesting look and feel and I think that would work really nicely with a horror comic. Like I said, I'm still exploring different techniques and different um, ways to do stuff for this comic so I'm still exploring a style and yeah I think I'm gonna go down this path a little bit more I really do like the gouache so maybe I can mix the gouache a little bit with this make some more opaque colors and we're getting somewhere guys and that's basically it thanks for watching guys let me know your comments down below what you're looking forward to for the motel comic if you're looking forward to it I am expecting a shipment of Emily is burning the comics to come out soon and I'm going to put those on Etsy when they do and if you like a copy of that then just follow me on Etsy, the link is down below and yeah, that's it. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!